Welcome back to the channel and another episode of the 12 Days of Suzmas. I'm doing a pop-up at Nude Lagoon's Vintage Shop this Friday and Saturday with Ruby, daughter of a hoarder, one of my besties. I feel like she's on the channel quite a bit here and there and we're both going to be selling a bunch of stuff at Caitlin's Vintage Shop which is permanently there in London so you can always go and visit it. Obviously by the time this video is up, the pop-up would have been and gone, which is a shame because I kind of would have loved to have fully announced it like on the channel and maybe some of you guys um, could have come, but I've been speaking about it on my Instagram, my TikTok, so you can go follow me on there if you don't already. I'm staring at the stuff that I have like for the pop-up and it's outrageous. I've got so many things and today is actually my last day that I have time to pack everything and fully sort out what I'm gonna bring with me to the pop-up and also do all of my labels which is a little bit stressful because I'm like, the clock is ticking and I have so much to do right now. I'm gonna share with you some of my fave bits. <laughs> These heels, oh my God. Don't, 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 don't. I bought them for myself, like I think 90% of this stuff and they don't fit. They are too big and they're like too big to try and like make it work. They're ballet pump like kitten heels. I'm dying. I'm deceased. I might as well show you all the shoes because they're up here. These insane guest boots. Are you joking me? Again, I bought them for myself. And then I remembered that I can't walk in heels. Um, and that heel is a death wish for me. So <gasps> I've got black cowboy boots. These boots, which I already showed on my TikTok. Again, I bought them for myself. <laughs> and I just cannot walk in them. Like that heel is too much for me. It was too much. I tried. I really, really tried. And I think Honestly, a pair of shoes like these needs to go to somebody who's gonna wear the crap out of them because they are insane. They're like khaki suede. I've got a couple of cargo dresses. This one's from Miss 60. I've got some like slightly wackier pieces. These trousers. I'm also selling a couple of my own designs. I sold these, I think, last winter. Um, on my depop and I was like plugging it on my art page and I have like a few left over, I think three or four. Um, so I thought I'd bring them along to the pop-up and I'm also bringing my like accompanying art postcards. I'll show you that later on in the video um, to go with them. This lacy top, anyone remember these? I was obsessed with these, these are my ride or dies. I don't wanna get rid of these. <laughs> the minute people buy stuff, I'm gonna be like, oh, jealous, <laughs> girl. This dress as well is incredible. And this is the type of thing that I'm actually gonna price a little bit high. And then if nobody buys it, that's cool with me. I'll keep it. And for my tags, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I'm not buying a tagging gun because honestly, I just felt like I was just bad for the environment. Like I do not need that plastic. Um, so I've been collecting the strings from stuff that I've bought to reuse. And I've also got loads of string from my sewing bag. So I'm just gonna use old string. And then I have like an old curtain that I've been using for a DIY coming in a DIY video, also in 12 Days of Seasmas. And I just used more of that fabric. So very like sustainable, if I do so myself. And I've been cutting these little squares out and I do a lot of lino printing and I have this star lino print that I want to do at the top of it. And then I have letter stamps and put like the price in stamps at the bottom. So that's my plan. It could go horribly wrong later when I try and do all of these. It could also take me a million years and I might regret not just like bulk printing some labels or whatever, but you know what? It's a challenge I'm willing to partake in. So it turns out I actually lost the lino print that I was on about, so I had to make a brand new one in that moment. Then I was using fabric paint, um, which actually kind of works, so it was slightly thicker than normal acrylic, and I just sort of did them at different thicknesses, and then I just used the same paint to put on the number stamps. It is currently 10 to 11, and I don't have any time tomorrow to do any pop-up prep because I'm working all day, and then I'm back and I have to get ready for a whole evening of events and then the pop-up's the next morning. And I might possibly be a little bit hungover on the first day of the pop-up and I also need to plan what I'm wearing on the first day and I also need to finish sewing my skirt for the second day and now I'm thinking about it, I think I'm actually gonna be awake until like at least one in the morning finishing everything. But the good news is I've finished the tags and I'm actually obsessed with them like obsessed and I'm kind of annoyed at myself that I didn't start this yesterday. It's cute and I use loads of secondhand string 
and um, I'm happy. It took, it took a while. It probably took two hours. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go through, and I don't, I don't even know how many I got there. Oh, yeah, also, I don't know if this was incredibly smart or incredibly stupid. I just tagged random numbers without matching them to the piece and just like glanced at the piles next to me thinking, oh yeah, yeah, that, oh yeah, yeah. And I've literally just gambled, so I could have done my prices really badly. Oh my God. Today is the day, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot believe it. Um, also, I'm a little bit hungover, let's not lie. Went out last night with Ruby to this couple of events. That was not English. Today's the day, uh, Ruby and I are gonna split an Uber. We were gonna hit the train, but we both got too much stuff. And honestly, I'm very thankful by that decision, that drunken decision to do that last night. This is what I'm wearing. Like, why did I go cute? Like, oh, I said to Ruby, I was like, what are you wearing? Like, this is kind of, I'm gonna wear a corset and I wanna look really cute. And she was like, babe, I'm going like jeans and a jumper. And I was like, oh, okay then. Uh, but here we are. This is from Meow. I'm literally, li like, I'm literally obsessed with it. This gorgeous necklace is from Beads by Edie. It's giving maiden. My whole look, like, hold on. I don't really have the time to adjust the camera angle, so we're just gonna go for this. I made this skirt, I featured it on Shopping For My Summer Wardrobe video, and yeah, just got the ribbons. This time I added a couple safety pins to attach it to the skirt underneath, which is just like a classic, classic Depop girly prairie skirt I found this at a charity shop. Um, it just held them in place, and I also think it looked, it kind of went with the look. And then this um, little charm is from Jewels by Mills and Goo by Becca's collab that they did. Then I'm wearing uh, my new North Face snow boots because I want to be really, really comfy and warm. And I'm going to wear my Clint's jacket. Do you want to see what I'm working with? I actually need to... Oh, I'm also going to bring this jumper in case it's chilly in the shop. I actually feel a little bit sick and I haven't eaten anything. And Right. Let me show you what we're dealing with. Okay, not actually that bad, but I got this mainly filled with hangers and shoes and then that's the clothes. And now that we're in an Uber, I'm gonna bring loads of, I can't look at the cat, like I'm I'm actually hungover, like I am. I can't, it's too bright in him. Um, but I need to put some backup extra clothes in case I sell out, like mainly for tomorrow I'm thinking, but I'm gonna pack some of my favorites of like the leftovers. That's why not. We're here. Okay, now come on. Hey, I'm Cass. Cass? Cass has come Cass. all the way from Birmingham. Birmingham, yeah. and Birmingham. it's just like Toronto. Like Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> and what did you buy today? Okay. Cass is giving us a haul. Oh, it's actually a top from my shop. Yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> is, it like a, is it like a short dress? Or is um, it like a top? I feel like, jeans. Yeah. yeah. Dress over jeans moment yeah, if you're a true TV. Susie Lola yeah. fan. <laughs> <laughs> that was in the store for two hours. <laughs> you, she's our first customer. Yeah, you were first well. customer. And it's now like we, only, <laughs> we What time is it now? It's like one o'clock, yeah. isn't it? Oh yeah, like one. Well, apparently everything in the store, but you know. Oh, I love that. Oh, oh I love that. So it's a bit quiet. I'm trying out some stuff. These machino pantaloons from Ruby. I'm obsessed. I think I'm gonna have to get them, guys. There's nothing again. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> that is ugly. I wish that was in there when it was in. I'm so embarrassed. Can I just get some tips? Get some tips. <laughs> Get some tish. Kind of like Cheryl Cole. Did she do like yes. a movement like this? Yeah. I feel this love. I know, I kind of want to keep it. Let's see. We have to get pictures together. That's oh, crazy. Yes. I like red. I really want that one now. I'm going to let you free this. <laughs> <laughs> it's really ball 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 ball. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so obsessed with him. Oh my 
my god, scrumptious. Scrumdiddly um. Day two of the pop up. Yeah. Yesterday there were lots of learnings. We didn't have any payment plans prepared. So that was That's a bit chaotic. True. I think we must have taken payments on at least six different methods yesterday. We just thought like people would just be able to wire us the money, but that's not always the case. Well, we originally were doing a, a thing of this, but it's silly me. Silly me didn't sign up in enough time. You know, we're, we're, we're busy time. hustlers. We're busy girls. Like, we're we are busy hustlers. Girls. Like, yeah. people need to know. I thought everyone has online banking and just wires money left and right center. But... We've actually had, I'd say, a huge proportion of um, the customers have been not from England. Yeah. So I think that causes issues if they have international bank. The fact that I have to log everything back. I wish I'd sold more so that I wouldn't have to do so much manual labor on the way home. Same. Our, pe Positive. our peaks. Meeting people meeting was people. The, probably the, the top Yours thing. has to be pe meeting people dressing inspired yeah. by you. Ruby, Ruby said that people were dressing like me. And I, I, I it was just crazy. It like, was so yesterday cute. Yesterday I didn't really see it, but today like queens, like literal queens um, entered this, this space. It's made us realize that we want to do more in-person selling events. So we said next time, maybe somewhere more central. Mm -hmm. And then I just need to, I feel like I just need so much more time to prep beforehand. Like I'd want to get to the shop three hours earlier yeah. and like lay things out really nice. Like, yeah, it was quite rushed. We've got lots of different hangers going on and like Caitlin's stuff consistent. is all laid out so nice and it looks yeah. lush, whereas mine looks like a bit of a jumble sale. Yeah. Well, next time, would you do more than two days? Yes, I'd definitely. Three. Oh, I was gonna say a week. Oh, you did say a week. Um, a week. No, we can do a week. If we can do a week if we have different sellers. But then a week is like seven days because you want to do Saturday, Sunday. So maybe a long weekend. Four days. Thursday, Friday, Thursday. Thursday Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Christmas Avenue is the... Ding, Ding dong! dong. <laughs>